everyone, Wallace here with your Monday video. So last week I talked about Shrill. I hope you guys all went and binge watched it. It was really good and I've gotten so many comments from people about the episodes that they loved, about the themes that resonated with them, about the outfits even. Um, I think it's a show that a lot of people, in particular women, really need right now is just seeing people represented that look like them and seeing their body type not shamed and not pigeonholed into certain character on the show like the funny one or the cranky one or whatever it is it's a star of the show love interest with a healthy love life a career friends and not minimizing or ignoring the fact that they're not totally skinny so along that theme i'd like to talk about um books that have to do with that and I want to point one out in particular that I got this last weekend when I was in Chicago. I went to Women and Children first and I met up with Rincey from Book Riot. So you probably saw that on one of our Instagrams. If not, you can go look now. Um, we both got, I have not posted about the books that I've gotten actually. She did post about her books. I haven't posted about mine yet and I will soon on at Book It Like a Mother. But one of the books I got is called The Body Is Not an Apology. It's The Power of Radical Self-Love. And some of you might be familiar with Sonia Renee Taylor. She's a website that, um, I, I do believe that the website is uh, radical. Yeah, it's the body is not an apology .com. So I can link to that below too. Um, but this is a very short book. It's pretty easy to read. It'd probably be great for a group to read, but I'm actually just reading it by myself. And I'm at the beginning, as you can see, I haven't gotten very far yet, but I'm just at the very beginning. And still... The, you, you can tell what the whole book is going to be about from from the intro and like the first chapter and she talks a lot about not not this idea that's in culture right now about accepting your body but rather going beyond accepting your body you know not just getting to the place where you're accepting who you are but actually loving who you are and being thankful for who you are um and that's the point of this book is let's go beyond just acceptance because acceptance still ta still has the mentality of there's something wrong with it, but I'm going to accept it anyway. I'm going to live with it to let's thrive. And I think that that's a really important message to send because as I've talked about before and even on the last video on Monday, the average size in America is 14 to 18. That's the average female size. I don't know what it is in other countries and I don't think it's just because America has an obesity problem. We have a lot of different ethnicities here in our country. And so a lot of different ethnicities are represented and a lot of different ethnicities are mixed together. So our body types aren't going to necessarily match certain countries that have one specific body type because the culture and the heritage is um, so compact, if that makes sense. Is that the correct way to say it? Um, so that's something to take into account also. And then and then even within body types and like weight issues and, and whatnot, there are different body types and those are to be celebrated. So I am obviously in a place in my life right now when I'm really not just trying to accept where I am and accept what culture says about women and their weight and their looks and their age, but to also just embrace it and love where I am in the process and feel really comfortable in my own skin and as the way I look and as getting older, all of these different things and not look at them as bad things and not look at them as things that we have to learn how to deal with, but rather embrace them and embrace the exciting parts that come with it. So this book is part of me doing that and I wanted to recommend it to you all. If you've read it, you can talk about it down below. Again, no spoilers as always. Um, if you have other books like this that you really love or would highly recommend, please put them down below also. Until next Monday, happy reading.